Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 89. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. These niggas ain't even guests no more. They done been in the building so many times. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. Big Dan from the Bridge in the Gap podcast. We back. Right back. Oh, it's the one. It's the only. Never, never, never. I don't even know what the fuck I was going to say. But it's on face, y'all. What's going on? How you doing from the Bridge in the Gap podcast? I thought I I had a whole little speech. I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. Shout out to my man, Uncle. Shout out to my man, Uncle B. Uncle ain't here today, but you know we holding it down for my man, Uncle. The down in North Carolina at the first black-owned Fat Tuesdays in Valley, North Carolina, owned by my cousin Tim and his wife Tina. So you know, quick little shameless plug. You know, if you had if you in North Carolina, down in the Raleigh area, and you want to go get your little Fat Tuesday vibe, it's the only Fat Tuesdays down there, black-owned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Live. Oh, no, you, know what what you, mean? you already know international hype, not just the hashtag. It's where life. I got some folks down there on the ground. We'll make sure we get that information sent out promptly. Um, hey, now let's go. E Block Radio Network every Monday, two o'clock on the E Block Radio mm-hmm. Network, two o'clock GFT Radio Network every Tuesday, Wednesday, two one six to blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. They love me that much. Three slots. Uh, WTNUPhilly.com, 12 30 every Thursday. Friday, I say podcast radio network. That's down there in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? But I got folks on both sides of the Carolinas. <laughs> um, also, Saturdays, THC Media, 10 a.m. on the THC Media. Sunday, still wide open. West Coast, what's happening out there? Uh, Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle World on Instagram is my clothing line. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. If you're watching the video on eBlock on a Monday at 2 o'clock or any time during the week, you will see that Uncle Face is rocking a Custom Hustle exclusive right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we do custom jackets, custom jerseys, t- uh, t-shirts, sweatsuits. We can put your logo on something if you want it. It's going to cost you a little extra, but we can make it happen. Uh, the jackets you design yourself, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, however you need them jerseys, we got them in. Um, H2H Cleaning, also my cleaning company. You follow that at H2H Cleaning. We do roofing, plumbing, HVAC, uh, flooring, carpeting, cleanups, cleanouts, you name it, we can make it happen. It's a tri-state area situation, but if you make it worth my while, we will slide. Now, my guys, BTG Podcast, these niggas are so, you know what I'm saying? These niggas are so cool that they going to throw out the question for this week's episode, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I told them, oh, I was, oh, oh, oh. told them I am a habitual plagiarist, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I will always shout you out when I plagiarize. No, I just, joke was so good that I said, no, nah, y'all going to ask this one on the show. So go ahead, Face, it's on you, baby. Talk to no. me. No, no, you know, I just bring I just bring the vision behind it. My man who's my co-host, who is the brains behind this shit, he works this shit far better than I do. And I just give you my take on it. So I'm gonna get a mic to the one, the only the brain from the bridge in the gap part. This is why you don't pass the ball. I give that brother a solid bounce pass in the pocket. Just lay the ball. He Ben Simmons <laughs> fumbles it, throws it to Matisse. My man. <laughs> You pass, you pass it to him, then he threw the oop. Now I'm about to, hey, you know, Copy and that. That is, let's go. You know, <laughs> Bridge the Gap podcast on all streaming flat on all streaming platforms at BTG Podcast. You know, every Monday we dropping something major. You know what I'm saying? Well, on get back, on get back, but he ain't here right now. He, he out of town, but you know, we're gonna do this thing. So, me and Face That's was talking. Philly support Philly. Shouts out to my guys. Yes, sir. So, you know, me and Face was talking. We was on our, on our little pod earlier, you know. And we wanted to get Heim's take on it. So the question is this. Do you think, not only do you think or can people grow out? Can, right, so can you grow out of your marriage? Or do you think the people just grow apart from each other? I think that they kind of one and the same. Because this is an episode that I did before. Shout out to my man, DJ J. So. Oh, do all relationships have an no, 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 I'm sorry. I don't think that's how it was. I'm sorry to bridge in the gap. Hold on. I think it was. He said that they handle this one. Out of <laughs> the person, or do you grow out of the marriage? I think that's. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he's um, 
can you grow out of your marriage or do you grow out of each other? Do the people grow? Do you grow out of the, per the person? Do you grow apart from each other? If you I grow out of the person, then you had to grow out of the marriage. The marriage kinda, only... I'm going to let you go, but I got a little pushback for that. Go ahead. He told me he's going to let me go on my own shit. Did you hear this nigga? I'm on my own. We in the building. Let's go. Um... Yeah, like I, I, I it's kind of like they're one in the same because you can absolutely grow out in your marriage because if y'all got married at 25, y'all ain't gonna be the same people at 40. Your vision is different. Your wants, your needs, like the shit that you are aspiring for is different. The things that she wanted out of a man at 25 might have been totally different than what she's looking for at 45 or 35 or 31. You know what I'm saying? So it's very easy for y'all to grow out of those situations because that's any relationship. People will try to make it such a special thing when it's a marriage but it has the same way to fall apart just like any friendship or any relationship can if you're not working at it if we're not growing together if we're not looking at shit the same way then we're gonna grow apart now we can also grow apart while we had two three kids and we got a house and we got this business and like it'll be all those different things that just make you say like i can't leave this situation because i got too much time money and energy invested into it but you can damn sure also know, though, like, we ain't even looking at this the same way. Like, she's not even the type of, she's turned into the type of girl that I don't even like. He's turned into the type of guy that I don't even like. So you could definitely grow out of them situations. Faith? Well, here's my take on it. Uh, let me ask you a question, then I'll give you my take on it. Are you the same person? How long you, first of all, let's start here. How long Six you, years. Six years, right? Yeah. Let's, just, let's say six. I'm I'm a veteran. I'm the veteran in this conversation. But let's six, how, six, six years married. How long together? Right. Six years. Six so is, total all together. As you yeah, we was talking, but you know, we wasn't officially anything. That was my best no, no. friend. Hey, bro. Uh, all right. So what? Give or take what? Seven, eight years, something like that. Oh no, we had been having a long conversation. We've been talking since '06, but we wasn't in an official relationship or anything until. 2016. So that's what? How many years? You, six years? That's 16. 16, brother. 10, oh, six. You know. all right. 16, right? <laughs> so right. You're, not even, you're not even the same person from 16 years ago. You don't even Absolutely like... Not. Oh, hold on. You don't even like the same foods from 16 years ago. Can we Can we agree to, to say that? To say, um, I'm not the same person, no, but the same foods, definitely, yeah. Okay. I'm still eating bad like I was then. So, yes, people grow apart because you and the person you with is not the same person from 10, 6, 12, however many years ago from now. No, so yes, you and the person is going to fucking grow apart. I think if you grow out of your marriage, you or the person wanted not to be in that marriage, period. Because I don't feel you grow out of a union, a marriage. Yeah, you're going to grow out of the person. Everybody change. But you shouldn't grow out of the marriage. See, this, see, this is why I said, though, uh, she's not the same person that she was when I met her when she was 15. She shouldn't be the same person that she was when she was 15. So, like, you all have to be growing together. you both growing. you both evolving things is changing with both of us like when we met she wasn't a mom she wasn't a wife she wasn't a woman like so those different things are the same for me like so you have to change it's just all about y'all growing together the things that you're changing are the things that work for y'all situation so it's like I know as a grown man where my wife is strong and where my wife is weak but as two teenagers like we wasn't looking at each other like that it's communication because it's communication, right? In a marriage, you gotta be you gotta be transparent. You don't even like the same shit you like. I'm not saying you, this hypothetically speaking, I don't want to get too deep. You don't even like the same shit sexually you like 16 years ago, my nigga. Nobody like so it's like you gotta have that conversation and be like, yo, that's not doing it for me no more. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. That's not but that's how that's what's happy, but that's how any so but that's how all, say, that's how all of our relationships work. If me and you over these like five, six years that we knew each other. And we're not communicating the different things that we 
feeling going through it like I got this going on now and I got that going on. If we don't ever communicate those different things and all we ever meet on is that surface level that we met on, we'll never grow our relationship. Exactly. You dig me? So to, that's that's my answer to the question. Uh, people are going to grow apart marriage and shit. That's me. Go, go ahead, Dan. Jump in here. So in my opinion, so of course people can grow apart. People can grow out of each other. You can grow out of a person you can grow out of the marriage. Um, I think what the key to it is, though, because like you was just saying, if one person, let's say we both growing, but now we, like you said, it's different. 16 years in, like I'm 16 years in myself, six years married, set going on seven years married. If Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you have to be open to the other pro- person's growth. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I feel like if she's growing and I, if she want to experience different shit and that you, you should want to be open to that. You dig what I'm saying? And that will prevent y'all growing apart and growing out of the marriage. You know what I mean? If I'm growing and I, I now I'm tired of working for, for the, I, I want to work for myself. I want to start a business. I want to do that. I want to, uh, you know, be an entrepreneur, you know, it's her job to support that. You know what I'm saying? If she start, oh nah, I'm if oh nah, well, why don't you just stay what you're doing? I'm cool with you being there. Now she's stagnant, she's not growing with me. So now I'm gonna uh, with, with our marriage was like when we first got married, like you said, I want to do different shit now. I don't want to be locked down and I don't want to, I'm not gonna be consistent in all the, all these years together. I'm gonna want to do different shit. So you have to allow me to grow, but you also have to support my growth. I'm gonna support your growth. Now, if you growing in, if you now let's say, have you ever been in a situation where that growth ain't, you know, y'all can't see eye to eye on something? Say she want to do something, she changing her views on life, and you have a strong, you know, you're not feeling what she on. What would you do? Let's say your wife come to you and say, "Hey, babe, I'm, I'm, re- I'm quitting my job right now. I want to do this over here. I'm going to try this right now. It's going to fuck up what we got going on right now." But this is what I want to do. This is where my heart is right now. And I want to do this. So that's my situation this year that you're talking about. It wasn't her saying it. It was me saying it. Okay. Uh, we talked about that one of the times that I was up there with y'all. I don't remember been too many times to, you know, oh, yeah, that one day. <laughs> um, what was that like? What was that conversation like? If you don't mind, you know, we don't want to get, you I know. mean, well, no, it, it's not. None of our conversations are hard because we remember prepared for the podcast drive through. And we get yeah, you in. I mean, no, I, I got you on time. Um, <laughs> we can always part two, three, four, five these situations. People love that shit. Um, mm-hmm. The thing about it is we had those conversations before we became in a relationship. Like I said, we was talking for 10 years. We just wasn't like, the reason we wasn't in a relationship is because like, I don't know how Face did it because you came straight high school and went straight to the league. I yeah, couldn't do that. I had, had too much play in me still. You, know you, still, you, had, you had too much dip on your chip. That's what That's I'm saying. What I, and, and it's crazy. You I told can. him earlier, me and my wife met when we was in high school, ninth grade. It wouldn't have worked back then. If Copy, we would have got you, together back then, it wouldn't have worked. You got to be, like I said, with what I'm saying the face is the communication. Me and my wife, two different religions. So you have to talk about that before y'all just end up in the house married and now y'all got kids. You got to have had that hard conversation of what we going to do with a holiday? What we going to do with Christmas? What we going to do about... Uh, Ramadan, you gotta have talked about this stuff. What are you looking for in a husband? What are you looking for in a man? Like in a man in general, what are you looking for in a wife? Y'all had to have those hard conversations so that once we get to these different points of growth, because like I said, I met her, she's 15. Like she can't be the same person at 15 as she is now. I was 18 when I met her. I can't possibly be that same person. So having those different conversations, she can tell and knows what it is with you. If y'all been together that long, y'all been like locked in for that long, you know, like if she really don't like this job and it's bad for her physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, all right, look, I don't know how this is going to work out, but you got to get out of that situation because it's what's best for you. Everything has to be about what makes it grow for your own family situation. But ultimately, Nothing is louder than you killing yourself on the inside. 
So you can't be anything for our family if you ain't feeling the situation that you got to go to every day. Because guess what? Me and the kids ain't there. It's just you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Her and your kids ain't there. It's just you going in there every day. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to have them conversations. You got to have those hard conversations. You can't be scared of it. Like, man, she's going to be bitching if I say this. He going to be bitching if I say that. No, it is what it is. We've grown and got people looking at us. Station cut off, King. I'm sorry. You no, got to you got to have those hard conversations so you don't outgrow the marriage. Because, yeah. like, 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 pretty much what you're saying, if you don't have those conversations, so now you're walking around with all this built up resentment. Like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's better to just be straightforward, say what you want, say what you don't like, so you don't outgrow the marriage. As long as you don't outgrow the marriage. Let me ask you a question. What do you, what do, you do if you go for, if you go to that? Now, and, and, all right, yeah, your, your situation hype. Let's say you go to your wife and you say, "Hey, this is what I'm doing, custom hustle world, H2H clean, and I'm, I'm, you know, syndicated all, all over the country, you know. syndicated all over the country, trying custom, to get uh, how to hustle seminars, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this. Is, this is what I'm doing right now, and I'm leaving my good job. With the, where where we secure it? What about if she said no? You got the right to your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would be the same thing for her. Ultimately, we're going to have a conversation about it so that you're not blindsided when the other person does it. The communication right. is how any of these relationships work. If so, Alt doesn't communicate to y'all, yo, look, right now my schedule is too messed up that I can't make it to the podcast. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't communicate that, he just don't show up. The now podcast we got a problem. Must go on. <laughs> but, but now no, we got... But no, now, we don't. The podcast no. must go on. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, though, is now we got a problem with the business. If we don't communicate what the situations are, you know what I'm saying? And we don't have to agree on everything. We can agree to disagree. But if you never say, yo, I ain't happy with the situation that's here, and, like, you let that resentment build up, and then one day you just blow the fuck up, you know, it's where did that come from? You yeah, I've been, I've been there. I've been there. Oh, yeah, mister, they didn't bring me nothing back from the mall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> yo, how long ago was that? What, a year ago, two years ago? I'm I'm not even that person anymore. I only, I, like, I look back at that, and I'm like, I grew so much from that. I'm not even that person no more. I can really, I, I can really care less now. Why? Because now it's like, I just, I look at shit different. Like, and this is what I mean. I'm, I'm not get off subject, but back to your situation, right? Say you got to say sometimes is the decision I'm making better for my family, the family, whatever, or is just all pure ego. And as men, a lot of the shit we go through, right. Within these lengthy ass relationships, being a husband, being a dad, all that type shit. Right. It, it is really simple. It's based off making the decision of the yes or the no, or the can't or, can or can't is is it pure emotion or is off of what's better for the family in your situation i'm not i'm speaking hypothetically i'm i could be wrong but i feel like your decision might have been off of pure ego this is what i'm doing because i'm international hype i can make this work i'm gonna make this work make this work xyz don't know what was going on at the time, or you do, but it's like, I that that decision for you to do that was based off, of, I think, ego. Boom, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It might have, could have been the best decision at the time. Maybe not, or you know, but I'm just saying, straight up and down, men make decisions off of pure ego sometimes, of what they think they sh should be doing, because I'm the man, I'm the lead. I don't, uh, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I wouldn't think that off of him. I don't think, it would, so, I mean, are, are we going ego or just confidence? Sometimes, see, like, I don't like, you know, some people be like, right, so let me ask you this, Hype, let me ask you this. There's a fine line the between thin, ego the thin line and, what's the I, difference yeah, between but, ego and confidence? Hold up. Let, let me out, Dan, let me out, out first. Go ahead. Hear me out. A lot of people, motherfuckers will tell you you cocky or you two this and the third, but I'm confident in my abilities. And not only that, 
I'm showing and proving that it can be done. And if you don't answer this right, hype, I'm gonna be mad. I'm, I'm really gonna be mad, bro. What's the difference Look. between ego and confidence, my nigga? Perception of the person. That's all about what they what they see. Oh, bro. And I'm surprised at you. Right now, the difference between ego and confidence is confidence is <laughs> I'm gonna fucking show you. And that's what you do. No. I'm gonna show you. No, no. I'm gonna show no. you. Ego no. is no. ego that's is ego. Let him, that's let him, ego. Let him, wait, let Dan, let him, let him get let him get it off. Go ahead. Let him get it off. I, that's that's my confidence is I'm gonna show you. I'm showing no, you. Ego. I don't really have to say ego is I'm telling you what I'm going to do, what I can no, do. Confidence is me telling you what I'm going to do and actually do it. That's confidence, my nigga. I'm confident in my abilities. This That's is what, what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Ego is me telling y'all, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show y'all. I'm a, I'm a, you trying to prove somebody wrong. I ain't trying to prove shit to nobody. I know what I got in me. I know what I can do. And this is what I'm going to do. That's like, confident. It looks like you bored. Some Sorry, people take that as ego or cocky. But if he know, if Hank know, I right, look, these is my numbers. This is what I'm doing while I'm on some part-time shit doing this shit. Imagine what I could do if I make this, if I do this on a full-time thing. It's called so, con that, he confident in his hustle. Let the man, let the man have the stage. Let him go. Let him go. This is this is why I fell back and let y'all both answer it. Cause like I said, it's the perception of the person. And what y'all just gave was the different perceptions that y'all came from this same question. Mm. Uh for me, it's like the job situation, I don't really want to get too personal to jump in and all that. We can talk about that right. off mic. Uh, you know, this thing goes everywhere, and I don't like everybody in my business. Right. Um but as far as the different situations, those different situations are things that make money. Now, having a, you have to have something steady because all of those different situations are things that revolve around somebody needing your service. If nobody calls, if somebody called, nobody calls for a jacket or a cleaning job this week, ah, things get tight. But the week where you got three cleaning jobs, four jackets and six jerseys, now we lit. So it's all about supply and demand. You have to have somebody need, somebody has to have the demand for your supply. And if there is nobody who needs the supply, then you're not making anything, which is why you have the steady nine to five situation so that you can keep everything going in. You can't have too much pride and ego, though, to say, I ain't never going to work for nobody and tell them because my situation gonna pop. Yeah, your situation might pop, but you also have to understand that it can't be all about what you want because that's what you want to do for you. When you got people looking at you saying, Dad, what's for dinner tonight? I need a new coat. I grew out of these sneaks. She need a whole new wardrobe. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can't make those selfish, boneheaded decisions about your own pride and ego. Because pride and ego are for children who, not, excuse me, people who react off their pride and their ego are making immature decisions. They're not making a mature decision. They're not being honest with themselves when they look at themselves. Like Dan said, I can look at the numbers and like I said, it could be popping this week. It could be popping this month. It could be then nothing going on for a month. And now what? So you can't have yourself in a situation where now what turns into now we scrambling and doing some dumb shit. And now you go on this collect callers from hype. You know what I'm saying? You can't be in that situation. Right. So, all right, so now we went to crickets and nobody got nothing to say. Now, <laughs> big man. Oh, no, I, I, no I, I relax. I don't like, you know, I don't like, you know, spitting off. The, that was totally off of what we said we was going to talk about, but we just got. Nah, I mean, I mean, we good. We in a safe space here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I mean? Got into it. But um, I don't think you, Dan, you never really told us uh, your answer to the initial question. Do you outgrow the, the, the initial oh. question? Now, nah, here you go. Now, if you feel as though you're outgrowing your wife, because we all married men here, uh, uh, mm -hmm. if you feel like you're outgrowing your wife, what do you do? Do you sit yeah. down and have a conversation? Because like I said, now you got a house, we got kids, and we got years upon years in. Dan said oh. this on the episode, and I always go back to this. If I break up with my wife, where am I going? Where do I live? <laughs> like, Here's the thing. This is my advice. This is me for I'll go first. 
Um, how you never you ain't say how long you've been married either. You just said you know what I'm saying high school straight to the league. That's not giving out the people a number. Uh, I've been married uh 13 years. I've been with my wife four years. So you've been with your wife for four years? For four years, but y'all been married for 13? What the hell kind of public school did you go to? <laughs> um I went to um my public school really wasn't like a public school, it was like one of those. <laughs> Um, he doesn't understand how bad the math was, y'all. He you was said the, we've been married for thirteen. He was, he was in that little back room. four. You know that little back room. That little back room at the school. Oh, no, no. Come on. Let's Are we hold. doing fractions? <laughs> Is this long division? He been with it. He been with his wife since oh five. Yeah, I okay. I, yeah, I married in oh nine. All right, right copy that. Oh five. Yeah. Man, thanks, Dan. You was there a first date type time. Again, I'm locked yeah, in. I'm listening yeah. every week. So you know what I'm saying? I, he was, I though. Y'all that. No, he was, though. Real shit. He was, yeah, there. I listened to the episode. I'm uh-huh. locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right, back to what we were saying. You um, and your wife, if you feel as though y'all growing apart in this situation, like, she's not... Like you, for example. Like, you, because like I told you this before, like, listening to the episodes, I can hear the change in you. Yeah. Now, I've if had... Your wife, if your wife is not like going along with this change, then what do we do here? I've had these several I've had this conversation several times over the decade I've been married. That's my whatever whatever area you feel you may be growing out of in your marriage, you have to immediately have that conversation. Don't fester on it. Don't let it wait. Don't don't think it's just going to change without you saying nothing because you and your feelings thinking it's going to change. And then you wait and then you realize it's not going to change. Whatever area that you feel like you're outgrowing your marriage, have the conversation immediately and be as transparent as possible. If you like your big toe licked and it ain't been licked, you need to tell your wife, hey, babe, I got this new thing. I like this. You have, like, I'm just using that as a, I'm not I'm with you. That's a nasty example. I'm just using that. If it's that crazy. Hey, listen, you married, you you gotta get nasty sometime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you need to have that fucking conversation, bro. Like, you have to. If you sitting out here, toes not licked. Because if not, if that's what you went to on your table. I don't want I don't or, want the, or your wife. Your wife don't tell you. I don't want the big toe her. being sucked to be the fact. That's I don't want that to be where you draw the line in your marriage, though. I'm just <laughs> give people the fucking. Eye. If you don't suck this big toe, I'm out. <laughs> Period. Nah. <laughs> well, see, the thing, I get what you're saying, face. It's the thing where it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be anything that I'm looking for that you can't satisfy. Cause then you send me out into the world unsatisfied. That's oh, how you start looking for shit and people start liking too many of your pictures. Other day I'm at work, the chick smiled way too hard for me to just be handing you something. So instantly I go, okay, you can't look at this bitch no more. She's drawn. Like, okay. The, the, the problem comes far before you ever showed up at the crib to hit. Okay. The problem mm-hmm. came when you entertained it from the rip. Mm-hmm. Somebody likes too many pictures. Okay. We're going to need to block you. Okay, because you can't keep liking all these pictures, and now I'm seeing too much in your pictures. We can't have this situation. I don't need to be tempted by anything. So let's just get you right out of the equation. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna call you all types of bitches and all of that. We ain't doing none of that. But that's yeah, why you just give them the podcast page. <laughs> like all them pictures. <laughs> we need all that traffic. <laughs> Listen, man, that's my advice. So you don't outgrow your man. You gotta have. Whatever convers- whatever area you feel like you're slipping, you need to have that conversation immediately. And you need to have it and you and you need to be heard and you need to be as transparent as possible and pray and hope that it's received well. If not, then that's when the tricky shit starts. Go ahead, Dan. Uh so I'll give you a personal joint. So you know, hardworking man, you know, nigga be tired, you know what I'm saying, trying to provide for the house. Uh, me and my wife, it slowed up on our going out and, you know, our date nights and, you know, just our little shit that we like to do. And we got into that, uh, what they call it, like that roommate phase. 
we're like we just we both here you know what i'm saying like we yeah. yeah we could we here you know what i'm saying we both going to work we tired of shit we ain't doing the <laughs> matter you know we ain't doing that shit you know we both we dead tired when we both when we finally do get a minute we just we just chill we just here we ain't doing nothing we ain't going out you know what i'm saying break we 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 had that conversation we had that conversation it felt like we was you know I mean, so now we gotta get, we gotta snap out of it. Now we going out more. We just popping up the random spots, just doing our little, you know. We we trying to reinvigorate that thing. You know what I'm saying? Go to Puerto Rico. Go to a whole another country. You know what I'm saying? We flying out next month. You know what I mean? We 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 trying to do that thing so that we don't grow apart. And it's just now we just cohabitating. We just live here together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if now. You gotta sometimes you gotta be able to look at yourself and say, all right, am I the problem? Am I not, you know what I'm saying? Am I not growing? Am I not, you know, moving forward? Am I not moving as forward as fast as she would like me to move forward? And if you want to save your marriage, then you gotta step it the fuck up. It's been multiple times, like you know what I'm saying. And I tell like nigga, my 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 wife changed my whole outlook on a lot of shit. Like I said, I never had a bank account before I got with my wife. You know what I'm saying? So Thing. People look at marriage as, oh my God, I'm gonna get married and it's gonna be easy. No, you're gonna Not get mar- fucking work. It's it's constant work. It's just work. It's work. And but they, here's the thing: if you they, work at, if you if you properly work at it, and, you, and if listen, that's why people get married and don't stay married because they live in this fucking false fairy tale that you get well, married. Here's the thing. Because majority of these young folks that's getting married, they not getting. They looking just at the wedding, dog. A lot of them, they, I'm getting married, my wedding, this day and the third. All right, but what about the next day, and the next week, and the next year? You know what I'm saying? So you got to really, you you got to work at this shit. This shit ain't this. It's not. It's not always gonna be peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? So let me throw this at Sometimes you. Sometimes it's rocky road like a motherfucker. <laughs> I got engaged in March and married in July. And the reason that I did it like that was because of exactly what you're saying. This is what I kept telling people when they was like, well, why you want to do it so fast? The wedding is one day in a couple of pictures. Yeah. That shit don't matter. The shit that matters is, are we still together 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now? Do we Damn. really love each other? Do we really want to sacrifice for each other? Do we really want to see each other win? Do we want to see each other grow? That's all of the shit. That's the work. Do we want to comp- Do we love each other enough to compromise? Do we love each other enough to be there for good, bad, and indifferent? That's the shit that matters. These pictures from this wedding day, that doesn't matter. Like, None of that shit. None but the thing, shit. like you said, that people get caught up into is, oh, I'm going to have this and I'm going to have that all for this one fucking day that we've been paying off for the last three years. Now right. that puts that takes us behind the eight ball because now we already got a strange situation because now we fucked up on this bread that we really didn't have in this situation. Mm-hmm. Now we never communicated how how I grew up, how you grew up. Now we got two totally different situations and we butt heads. This is why I said me and my wife situation, she was my best friend. And people would say that it was like, people thought it was kind of corny to say that shit. But no, nah, if I needed somebody else to help me lift this couch, it was going to be her. If I needed somebody to wait for the cable man, it was going to be her. Like, if I needed somebody to do anything, if I told her, let's ride, I need to ride a lessons in Kentucky. She ain't going to ask me why. She is going to say, come on. Like, so. That, that was why why I don't care what's going on. I would never start over again because I trust my wife because I've been through struggle with her. I know how she uh, reacts during, during struggle. I don't nigga. trust people that much to go through struggle with somebody that I don't know how they're going to react when struggle I mean, but hard. You, see, in these situations, we didn't know. I didn't always know her. You didn't always know your wife. So... It's kind of hard to say that. Like, it's going to be weird for me to say what I'm about to say, but I mean, it is what it is. My wife knows what our situation is. Um, that's basically like, could you ever see yourself starting over? Nobody wants to start over because it's like, how do you even talk to these motherfuckers? But Bruh. shit happens and you might have to. <laughs> hey, hey, hi. This sh- my marriage is like gang shit, nigga. Ain't no getting out this shit, nigga. I mean, that's why I said blood it's going to sound out, nigga. That's why I said it's going to sound weird. No but right, let's, let's just say Fuck car accident here. happens and now she's not here no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit for the rest of my life and go like, oh my God, I can never talk to another girl again. 
I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna be fucking. I'm not being in a relationship. I refuse. I'm not trying to. I'm dog. I'm not learning no new chick at forty plus. It's not happening. I'm not trying to. I'm not learning one of these new. I can tell you this. Look, soon as you ask, soon as I ask you for the number, and you be like, "Huh, no, nah, you can have my Instagram. I'm turned off." It's over. Yeah, nah, last. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> dipping that low into the kiddie pool. You know you, I got. I got. I got to hit you in the DM, bitch. I'm about to call you. We going to talk. <laughs> I'm not oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not talking. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I don't want one of them neither. That's why I'm out the game. <laughs> I'm all the way out the game and have no interest of getting back. At the, I'm out. Yeah, I mean, copy. <laughs> no I wasn't. Saying, getting back I wasn't in. Yeah, I wasn't saying that to say I wanted to put my jersey on again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I would never. It, my shit is in the rafters. Burn it that looks, motherfucker. It looks rough oh. out there. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's, it's, I'm sorry. I'm out there watching a nigga dive for a touchdown and say he just fell straight on his kneecaps. Man, I wouldn't be able to walk for a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get back in the game. Ow. Yeah, man, but, fuck um, that. I'm sorry. You on the THC we, network, right? Yes, that is THC network. Saturdays 12. Uh, that is 12. No, that is 10 a.m. every Saturday. THC network. <laughs> THC media. Shout out to my man, Ty. He is dying over here. All right, now before we wrap this one up, BTG two one five. Last episode that y'all put out, we said we are getting back to the essence of us. What exactly yes. does that mean for the listeners? That's crazy. Right. We just talking so, about that today. That's crazy. When we first started this thing, Pay it was, it was, it's not just something that I'm saying. Face, I'm saying I do yeah, my own we, studies. When, <laughs> when we first started our pod, it was more or less based off of our everyday shit it was like more of a relationship you know it was more relationship based it was more uh just man shit with like you know our take on life marriage fatherhood and it kind of morphed into a more raunchy or more raunchy more current squeaky, event, squeaky. You know what I'm saying? A little squeaky squeaky you know shit <laughs> like that you know so <laughs> we trying to get <laughs> back <laughs> When we say we try to get back to the essence and we go with like, that's where a lot of our best episodes was off of those type of joints, you know, relationship shit. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, so, married men talking about so, married men shit. So White, listen, you know, that was relationships us. Relationships make great episodes. It's like a motherfucker, <laughs> for real. Definition of the essence. The def- My definition of our essence is he's the older one. He's the smarter one. It's People don't know face. Face is young, wild. Well, I'm not young anymore, but my personality is young, wild, and there's a lot of shit I don't really know. And I might not say this shit the right way or ask the shit right. So whenever I go through shit my day to day, I call this nigga. Like, literally, it's how the podcast start. I will call this nigga. We will have 15 to 20, 30 minute conversation about some shit I just made. Have a question about seeing went through whatever and then one day somebody was like yo y'all should start a podcast or no not even a podcast yo y'all need to record the shit y'all be talking about you got a computer like, on? like no bullshit we would just we would be having a smoke session somewhere and me and this nigga just start talking about some old crazy shit and everybody that's around they just like yo y'all, why y'all should record this shit and then it turned into me and him having a conversation one day that's while we, how most motherfuckers like, start yo, we should start a podcast the like, shit that's how most people start, like, you know, it'd be them conversations. Really, like, sit down and be like, all right, what you want to talk about this week? What you want to talk about this week? Yo, yo, I came up with this. Where, like, our best episode, our best conversations is just we like, walking yo, with nothing. we walking we, with nothing. Like, look, we were literally walking with nothing. Bro, what happened to you today? Nigga, let me tell you the job is that, that, that uh, my wife, this, that, and then now you didn't, have, we didn't, no, we, like, in the beginning, we was doing, like, t- fucking hour and a half, two hours just talking, just going. You know what I mean? But then you, you know, we break it down to 45 to an hour now. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. so we can keep people engaged and shit. You know what I mean? The episodes before episode 100, I've changed. I'm not that person anymore. <laughs> I'm really not that person anymore. The the right. only case before, any episode before episode 100, I'm I'm not him anymore. I've matured a lot. 
my views have changed. You know, and from epi- uh, from episode, if you go first, you can't even find the first three episodes. Is uh is only on uh YouTube. We we wasn't even doing audio. And we where, where's the YouTube? Video. Where is the YouTube page? What is that exactly? That is, oh, oh, the YouTube, Dave. Is, uh, you got to spell it out all the way out. That's Bridging the Gap Podcast. Uh, there is no G in Bridging. As soon as you take that, if you just you type in Bridging with the G, you gonna like Nas and some other motherfuckers. It's gonna come up. But if you take that G off, <laughs> we pop up. So and we and we right there. I thought we got episodes with doctors on there and shit like. We, you know, what's that? We got an episode called "What's That Shit on Your Lip." That was like episode what five, six. You know what I'm saying like we we be we had some joints. Yeah, you know what I mean? we try, and and if we go and and to be honest, like them joints when we be having those real conversations about shit we go through, those be our highest watched viewed joints. You know what I'm saying? Versus me and him just going in there talking about people, Kanye and Trump and the see, you know that be my whole like situation that. is people like them organic conversations better than just the current event because the current event I'm not going back to listen to six months from now. Exactly. So shit like this is an evergreen topic. Somebody people tell me all the time like when I first tell them yo I was listening to this shit from four months ago that you did this joint from whenever because they evergreen. It's not about the whatever's popular right, right now. People. People, for all you other podcasters out there, if you just starting, you know, you're talking to niggas that's over 100 in, you know what I'm saying, but on both sides, you know what I'm saying? Hype might not be, I don't know if you're, you're not 100 in on, on I Am Hype, but overall, yeah, yeah overall, overall, yeah, you're, I'm a few hundred kind of guy. Over yeah. 100, dog. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're past us, well over our days, and we had 120 something, almost 130. But that replay value, what you're talking about, that's your, that's what you, you need that replay value. Them Jones that motherfuckers going to go back and listen to. Them Jones that's going to keep your numbers going up. Them Jones that, oh, I got to send this to my man. Oh, I'm going to send this to my wife. I want her to hear this Jones. Them the Jones that people won't always go back to. And that's your bread and butter with this podcast shit. That replay See, value. even stuff like that that you're talking about. Like, I know if somebody has a situation and I saw, yeah, I did an episode on that. Check this Jones out. Might be from a while ago, but it's still current. It's still current because it's not something that was going on that particular week. Um, before we close this episode out, though, this is something new that I'm doing, and I forgot to do it last week episode with Barb. So I'm gonna definitely be sliding your DMs, Barb. I need you to send me this. Um, when you hear my name, when you hear somebody say hype, what do you think of? We're gonna start with face first. Damn, bro. Um, when I hear your name. What do I think of? Yeah. Um, I think that you're a comedian. A what? A comedian. When I hear hype, not w- no, not when you hear the name. When somebody's talking about me, if oh. somebody say, "Yo, you know hype," <laughs> you think, "What is up with your man today?" <laughs> <laughs> you think what? Well, first, I thought he called you a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he okay. Maybe he thought, damn, these drones be funny. Copy. I mean, you never know. Oh, I'm off the indica. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, no bullshit. I hear your name. I if I hear your name, or your name associated with it, is is major. It's normally legit. And I mean, I'm a fuck with it. No bullshit. Straightforward. You say, you got a track record and if you say something, you're going to do it. Not many niggas got that track record. So I fuck, that's why I fuck with you. You say something, put your name on it, it is what it is, or you're going to do it. When I, me, when I hear your name. I can't say that for a lot of niggas. Me, personally. Copy that. Dan. Just Same hustle. question. Just the hustle. Like, nigga, you're everywhere. You're everywhere. It's a busy that's nigga. Good. I I call it, I call it the, uh, uh, the, the saint, the saint, the snowfall of fucking podcasting. Sneakers everywhere, bro. Sneakers. My nigga, either, either if, first of all, you're all over social media. It's either you promoting uh, one of your stations that you on, you know, GFT, THC, all them Jones, or if you fuck as custom hustle world or it's a cleaning job you just got into is you know you everywhere so if i when your name come up well, of course like face it if your name come up you know it's all good shit and you know it's all it's all definitely, legit it's never no bullshit for this podcast shit no, you, you, underground, underground goal and, and when it comes to this podcast shit dog you push it together you know what i'm saying and the, the hustle you're underrated. Is you're underrated you're underrated you know what I mean? 
Hustle is amazing. And this is us getting flowers. This is us. That's why I came. This is why I came up with that one a couple weeks ago. You know, uh, same shit like we just talked about. With damn, what if your wife ends up? Uh, people always if something happened. No, if you end up dead, motherfuckers. That's what people mean when they say if something happened. If I am to go tomorrow, I don't want niggas all in my wife DMs and under these pictures and now they screenshot and shit and oh my god, we was the best of friends and this was my man and I thought this 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 and this about him. I want people to put this shit on wax to be able to say these things so that then. My kids can go back, like Danny said, the replay value. My kids can go back and hear what people really thought about their dad instead of you putting it under a picture two days after I died because guess what? Everybody loved you then. You was everybody's best friend. You had the best advice and y'all had the best time that one day and they screenshot all your pictures. And I hate that type shit. That shit ain't genuine. When I wish I because I don't know. I don't fuck with nobody. Nobody don't fuck with me. And I would love to see all the people to put the shit under my pictures. I mean, it'd be niggas you went to Middle school with you ain't talked to in 25 years. Maybe y'all was cool back then. You know what I'm saying? I but, I, I mean, hey, Bub, bro, I tell Bub this shit all the time. If I go before he do, he got one job, and that's to stand the stand there. The funeral. Keeping them fuck niggas out of here. Nah, he ain't fuck with you. Fuck out of here. My nigga didn't fuck with you. And with the fake shit. Wife, I can't wait. I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna, thing. Bro. I, and, I, and I hope I'm an old up. nigga. I hope I, hope, I, I, I wanted to be when I'm an old nigga. Fuck before, we wrap, before we wrap up episode 89, he just said he can't wait till you die. He just said he can't wait to do I this said, shit. I hope we old on, bro. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can't wait to... No, I'm a, I just said... You I'm said, a nigga, big old got, nigga. Hey, we got two nigga, policies all on you. Nigga, you know, Ray and Claude, nigga. This is Ray and Claude you talking to. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, and I'm Eddie. I'm going to bust right up in the motherfucker. Hey, face. Damn, like we got two policies out. We gonna cash out on this nigga, and then I'm kicking niggas off the joint. Oh, uh, you, you gotta remember, my wife is his sister. He might be. I, I'm, t- I'm, oh, I'm telling you, he, he was like, look, I told him we were signing some podcast paperwork. Girl, it's, it's legit. We up. Um, I appreciate y'all coming on though. That was episode eighty nine. Philly support Philly. Shouts out to my guys, BTG. We are out. <laughs> Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>